What up YouTube? Today we're going to learn how to wire an 8 channel relay to the Raspberry Pi 2B Plus using an external power source. The relay we're using in this video is the JB Tech 8 channel 5 volt relay. Um, you can get it on Amazon for about $9. I'll provide a link in the description. Uh, if you don't like this one, there's a bunch of different variants that'll all work pretty much the same. So I guess get whichever one suits you. Here's what you're gonna need to get started. You're gonna need an eight channel relay, a Raspberry Pi, a power supply, an eight pin female to female ribbon cable, and a single female to female jumper cable. First, we're gonna start off with the eight channel relay. You need to remove the jumper from the JD VCC and the VCC pin so we can expose it for the power supply. Next, you're gonna take your power supply. Make sure it's at least 700 milliamps and five volts, otherwise you might struggle to power all eight relays at once. Take the positive wire and attach it to the JD VCC pin. And then take the negative wire and attach it to the ground pin nearest to the JD VCC pin. Next, you'll need your single jumper cable. You're gonna attach that to the VCC pin that sits between the ground and the JD VCC pin. This is also gonna be attached to the Raspberry Pi which allows it to turn on and off the switches. Next, you're gonna need your ribbon cable. We're gonna attach this to each of the relay pins. This goes between the ground and VCC pin. They should each be marked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That takes care of the eight channel relay. Next, we're gonna move on to the Raspberry Pi. In this example, we're gonna be using GPIO 26, 19, 13, and six. And we're also using GPIO 21, 20, 16, and 12. We're gonna connect channels five through eight to the Raspberry Pi first. Channel five will be connected to GPIO 12. Channel six will be connected to GPIO 16. Channel seven will be connected to GPIO 20. And channel eight will be connected to GPIO 21. Next, we're gonna connect channels one through four. Channel one will be connected to GPIO 26. Channel two will be connected to GPIO 19. Channel three will be connected to GPIO 13 and channel four will be connected to GPIO six. Notice that the first pin on this side is a ground pin so you don't accidentally start there. Lastly, we're gonna take the other end of our single jumper cable and put it on the three volt pin. Now that we have everything wired up, we need to test it. Turn on your Raspberry Pi and load up a test script that will cycle through the GPIO pins, turning them on and off. If you don't have one, you can use the one I include in the description. If you wired everything up correctly, it should cycle through each relay in order. This is the version of Raspbian I'm running, and then there's also the Python version I'm running. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and got you started and using your relay. And I'll be uh, posting more videos like this in the future. So like and subscribe.